and full time at the Etihad and Manchester City win and Manchester City come from 2-0 down to win 3-2 and Manchester City are crown champions and congratulations to them. Well. Congratulations to Manchester City, full time at Anfield and Liverpool have won as well. The full time whistle goes almost simultaneously in the two games. Liverpool won, Man City won. We thought that that could happen. It just happened there in a very dramatic way in the end. Liverpool gave it the best and Aston Villa went 2-0 up. But in the end, Manchester City do their job. And for the second time in a few years, Liverpool pipped at the final hurdle. The players look gutted. The fans at Anfield start singing proudly, you'll never walk alone. I feel a mixture of pride and sadness at the same time. Like it was there for a while, but in the end, it just wasn't meant to be. But mm. Liverpool needs to get their heads up now because there's a European Cup to go and win. But I'm an emotional wreck. How do you feel? To be honest, I genuinely, I feel a little bit better, mate. Like it was, that was probably the hardest 90 minutes to watch this season. But like the last 10 minutes, when City got in front, I was just like, yeah, this was how it was meant to be scripted. They just got the goal. They got three goals in the last 20 minutes instead of getting the three goals in the first 20. Do you know what I mean? I think it would have been more exciting for us if, you know, Villa would have done the comeback <laughs> and, and, you know, had two goals and pushed, you know, City the whole way. But you can't begrudge them. They're not. It's not Man U. It's not Chelsea. It's not Arsenal. It's, it's a Manchester City team that are absolutely phenomenal. They've got a world-class manager, got a world-class eleven with a few extras that you know that they can do in terms of their squad depth as well. We are number one and number two of the world at the moment. These two teams are making history season on season. They're pushing each other to new heights. They're bringing the best out of each other, manager and, and playing squads. I just think this season there are a few a few moments where you could probably look and you know, in a couple of weeks I know the lads will probably sit in and, and unpack the season properly in, in, in a little bit more detail. But there are definitely some games where you can you can go back and just say, you know, what could we have done different? But again, I think Klopp's now got the perfect, perfect motivational tool and a piece of equipment to use to fuel these lads next season. He really has because, you know, Arsenal go out and win five today. They miss out on their, their ambitions. Tottenham, they get top four. You know, man, you end up in the conference league, mate. Like, the season, a lot of people didn't have us in going toe-to-toe -to -toe with City. They had almost written this Liverpool team off and this Liverpool team have far surpassed everybody's expectations because at the start of the season, no one would have ever put any money on. Apart from that one girl who put like a hundred pound on Liverpool <laughs> winning the quad. But aside from here, all of the big pundits that we sit and watch week in, week out, none of them said Liverpool would be in, in, a, in a title race. He was giving us top four at best. And then on top of that, not only have we lost the title by one point, on the final day, but we've already got two cups and we're in another final, yeah. so you've got to have a lot of pride. Absolutely, got a super chat here from Hitching Bars. I'd just like to thank you all at Redmen for taking on this journey. See you for, for the CL final. Three is better than none. Well done to City. We'll come. We'll get you next year. I agree. First of all, congratulations to Manchester City on winning the Premier League title. They win the league title by one point, ninety-three points to ninety-two. Fair play to them. Congratulations to you. There's, I know there's some City fans in the chat there giving it the beans. If that's how you want to be, Sam. Yeah. Well, well done. Yeah. Congratulations. Have a bit of a gloat. Absolutely fine. Well done Where to you. Where are you going next week, by the way? Is it Paris or Blackpool? I forgot. Mm -hmm. Just let us know in the chat. Sound. Let's sum up that game then. It felt like Liverpool were nervy. It was a poor goal to concede. What I would say is Liverpool responded in the end by getting the, win the goals that they wanted. It just feels like... <laughs> it might sound mad to say this, but like... I'd rather them have just battered Villa because that hope does kill you, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Yeah. It does. It's it kills you. It is crippling. And at the end of the day, we we didn't play. You asked me, you know, a half time, you know, what would you have given that rating? I still probably wouldn't have given that performance more than a six anyway, across the board. We, we, we weren't at our best. And so many factors going into the last game, toe to toe with City, knowing that we need to get the result, knowing that we need to win, like it has been for the majority of the season. Also knowing the fact that, you know, we, we've got a game around the corner, no one wants to really pick up any big injuries. The fact that Thiago pulls up and I think he looks like he's done his quad, that's a concern. And then also the amount of games and miles that are in these lads' legs at this point in the season has been ridiculous. Like, that's why it's some, it's some, 
to some extent, you don't want to go into the last day of the season because you've still got to empty the tank and there might not be left in it at this point. And it's good to show that we had that mentality ourselves when, when it mattered most. You know, a good set piece, we stepped up, we put it away. And then after that, you know, we go and get another one. We keep the foot on their necks and, and, and we don't let up. And we could have just took the foot off the gas and kind of just played it around, but that's not what we do. So all in all, I think you just look at this game. If you looked at this game in isolation, in the middle of the season, we'd have probably won this comfortably. But today, it felt, a bit nervy. it felt really nervy and it felt like there was pressure on. And again, these lads don't really show that much pressure on them that often. There's only been a couple of games this season. A handful of the City games springs to mind. The two finals against Chelsea, or the first final really against Chelsea, the League Cup, I felt it was a little bit more of a nervous performance. I think by this time around the other week, we, we seem to have their, their number. So we knew we should be beating them, especially with the form that they've been on. Um, but yeah, you've literally just got to congratulate the fact that we've been beaten by a, a side that, again, for the last couple of years, we've been saying it's fine margins. When was the league ever, apart from like these title races with us, I know that they had it with Man U at one point, but it's never really been fine margins. There's only ever really been one team in the league that looks like champions and they established themselves around January, February, and you're already kind of ready to give them the coronation and, and crown them champions by March and April. The fact that this Liverpool side can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with everything else that they've done and all the other commitments just shows we might not get the Premier League title this year, but we have got the mentality of champions and we are going to take home potentially more silverware as well. So plenty to be optimistic about, plenty to look forward to and plenty to motivate us for next season. So head up, lads. We go again soon and you've done everybody in the fan base immensely proud. Absolutely, yeah. Listen, Liverpool, in the end, come out 3-1 winners. For a while, it looked like that could be enough to make them Premier League champions. But Manchester City, in true championship style, and like I say, credit to them, three goals in, what, five minutes at the Etihad to come from 2-0 down to win 3-2. So congratulations to Manchester City. Well done to Jürgen Klopp and Liverpool as well. You give it your best, 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 best shot. And in 92 points, two cups and another cup final is a season you can only some people can only dream of. It just is one of those things. Right then, me and Edel are going to take a short break to get our heads together. Edel will be back with the fan reaction show, so do head over to the socials, let us know how you think. YouTube members, you can get your thoughts involved as well. And of course, if you're a Redmen Plus Club legend, you can use the Discord chat as well. I'll then do my player ratings, and then me and Edel will be back later on for the instant match reaction as well. Some of what we went through, that it was a roller coaster of a day. Um, Thank you for everyone who's joined us for every single Red Men watch along this season. Any single one. It's been an absolute pleasure to do these with you. There's one more left to go, obviously, next week for the Champions League final. But in terms of the Premier League, that is it from us for another season. It's been an absolute blast. Thank you all so much. Like I say, keep an eye on the YouTube. Keep an eye on Red Men Plus. There's tons of content, like I say, as we head towards that Champions League final. I went and interviewed Phil Thompson the other day about Paris 1981. That'll be coming out next week as we do look ahead to that final. In the end, Liverpool, for the second time in a couple of years, come up just that one point short. But we are very, very proud of every single one of those Reds. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll be back very, very shortly with our roundup of this game. See you in a bit. Hey guys, thanks for watching the show. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want even more Red Men TV goodness in your lives, head on over to redmenplus.com right away. You'll get more in-depth analysis, more features, more documentaries, more interviews, basically more Liverpool goodness. It's like Netflix for Reds. You will love it. We love it. Head on over to redmenplus.com and sign up for Redmen Plus.